Traders, good morning. Uh, bright and early here. We've got a video for the 23rd of May, 2020. Pardon me whilst I, I will need a sip of the coffee, though. It's, uh, the day's going pretty well so far. Uh, I am working today. Not right now. I wouldn't be that audacious to make a video during work hours. Um, what I want to bring up is the Aussie dollar. So, gosh darn, it looked like. Now, I ended up only taking um, Aussie long. Now, I took Aussie long. Well, look, we I've discussed this in previous videos, but I, I took it long. I, th gosh, let's see what that candle is. Is that the 20th? I think it was around there. Yeah, and it moved, but it did pull back a little bit. And look, this really captures the four hour captures really the weak sentiment, where it would it looks honestly like it it pushes quite well, but then it pulls back just as just as well too. So you know, getting some nice pips was challenging. Um, and I look, that was my only trade this week. So uh, look, not the end of the world. And it was looking like uh, risk sentiment was definitely sort of pushing towards risk off, but then it um, it bounced a little bit at the end of the session there. Not even the end of the session, like most of the New York session. So Aussie Yen as well. That's that's a little bit of an interesting area. It's where that resistance is. I'll pay close attention to that. CAD yen. Had a trading friend talk about CAD yen. I'll leave that for now. That's on a bad candle right there. This ooh, not super good to be fair. Um, Aussie Kiwi bounced, but eh, not too bad. Not too great, but not too bad. Um, Euro. A little bit of bounce on the euro. This right here is interesting. So we we saw a little bit of US dollar. Well, there was definitely US dollar strength, especially against the euro, uh, and it has bounced. I won't make this the watch list video, guys. I'll just talk about uh, the week, which was easy and quick because I only took one trade, but. Um, we can touch upon gold. Gold really sort of held up. You know, it wasn't... It didn't end at the low of the week at all. It sort of... Maintained over 1730. <clears throat> Pardon me. Alright. So the S&P 500 also sort of didn't end too, too badly either. But... It's just at a point where we've got a lot going on as well, and it's important to focus on just how fragile the situation is as well. Especially, you had the Hong Kong dynamic in there uh, with with how China is sort of uh, squeezing them a little bit. So, you know, you just got to be careful. Oh, oh, boy! Find me, everyone. Um. What else is going on? Let's have a look at... We'll have a look at the pound as well. Okay. If we go to the four hour, paint a bit of a bit of... A bit of a better picture. Yeah. Okay. Really short was was done. So I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, Euro pound. I just want to see how that did. Held up. I was... I was Talking about longings, I didn't, and it, you know, it's interesting. It sort of looks like I might want to go long still. Um, I'd like to see silver. I, I talked about silver as well. That actually looks like a potential long on silver. It does. This is turning into a watch list video, guys. I'm going to conclude it now. So the review of the week is done. Aussie long, that was it. As mentioned in, I think, the Wednesday video. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope everyone had a great week, and bye for now.